Hey, welcome back uh, to my channel. This is my first makeup tutorial and I figured I'd go all out and do a cut crease for y'all. So if you want to see how this look was um, done by your bitch here, go ahead and keep watching. So here I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and it's great, super, super good for oily skin and I'm bouncing that shit all over my face, bounce, 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 bounce it like whoa, don't get that shit in your eyes, you know that's not good for you and I'm doing a couple layers here, and look at me thinking I'm cute, dancing and shit, you ain't cute bitch. <laughs> Keep applying, just keep bouncing it all over your face. So here I'm applying my Shape Tape Concealer. Pack that shit on, go ahead and cake it, you know. You want it everywhere, you want to be nice and light. Put your war paint on, look like a crazy bitch. You know, do what you do. Bounce that shit again all over your face. <clears throat> you really want to make sure that you blend that out so you don't look like a crazy crackhead. You know, and I really like watching myself do my fucking makeup fast. I wish it was like this all the time. It's not, though. What is wrong with me? So now I'm taking my darker concealer in the shade for er, Deep Force. Maybelline Fit Me, that's what that one's called. And I'm just going to draw some lines on my face to warn off enemies or, you know, fuck people. And I'm also going to draw a dick on my nose because... That's another good way to make sure that you never get a date in your life. And then go ahead and blend that in because the lines weren't that cute. We decided that we didn't like that and we want the enemies to come fuck our lives up. So just blend it out. Fuck it, you know. Just take risks in your life. I don't know what to tell you. So here I'll be taking my NYX contouring palette and mixing the two lighter shades that I have and just kind of setting my face there. <clears throat> I actually fucked up and took the wrong shades and then tried to contour with it, didn't even realize, so that's where I realized. And then I go back in with the actual shades, once I realized I'm a dumbass, and contour my face. You know, because you want to look like you have the cheekbones of an angel, even though you fuck people's lives up, so it's all good and good. So here I am trying to attempt to do my eyebrows. I already made my sacrifice of a baby go earlier this morning, hoping that it would turn out well. Obviously, you can see by my face that it's not turning out the way that I would love that it would. But I'm going to keep trying, keep going. That shape looks awful. My, yeah, I realized it. <laughs> Just keep going, pretend like nothing's happening, and blend, blend, blend. Ugh, I'm so sorry to myself. So now I'm taking the black from my Tardius Pro palette and I am going to try and darken up the end of that eyebrow so that it doesn't look like shit and I don't want to kill myself at the end of the day. It's looking a little bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. There's that flaky fleekness. Still not up to par, but whatever. I'm honestly feeling myself there, so as you can see. So just keep repeating that on the other side so you don't look uneven and disproportionate like the rest of your life. And feel yourself look in the camera and make faces. Duh. So take that primer potion and stick that all over your eyeballs. 
to go about your eyeshadow stays later when you're being a hoe and doing what you gotta do to make that money. I don't know. Just keep rubbing it all over until it is where you want it to be. Dance around like a silly little hoe because that's what you are. Get into your Renaissance palette and then take that dark shade there. You're going to take a really small brush and create that line that you want to slice bitches' faces off with. Make it real sharp. Um, everything's probably going to look really, really, really ugly until the end, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about fallout. Just keep on blending until your little heart is content. Can't stress it enough how much it or how important it is to blend. Get into that palette and take that light purpley shade. I really love that. It's a great transition color if you're trying to get a dark kind of cut crease. And then go back in with that brown shade to recreate that line. I do this like six times when I'm doing a cut crease because I always blend it out. But that's okay. Then you're going to go in with that red shade. And apply that on top of there and I did apply it pretty thick but again that's why we have blending brushes and you can just blend it out duh don't be silly keep on blending 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 <laughs> and yeah keep adding that shade because again I blended it out but that's fine it's okay to blend that shit out I promise Obviously, I'm a silly hoe and don't know which shades I'm using. <laughs> You're going to get a lighter orangey shade place on top of that just to blend everything out really nice and smooth. Um, this is my first voiceover, so please <laughs> be patient with me. I don't really know how to do this. Um, yeah, and then I took some of that brown. Didn't show it, but I'm blending that in there even more so it looks nice and smooth. So now that you have that all blended and stuff, go ahead and take your Shape Tape Concealer and a rounded tip brush and you're just going to want to kind of paint where you want that cut crease to lay um, and of course clean up any of the fallout that you had because, you know, sometimes that shit falls all over your face and it's just the best thing ever but, you know, whatever. So pretty much just stab yourself in the eye until you get the kind of crease that you want and blend that out. Of course, then you're going to want to stick your tongue out like a hoe so all the people watching know how much of a hoe you are. And of course, keep concealing until it's perfect, which it never really is, but whatever. And... <clears throat> Then I'm taking that darker shade again and just kind of going over that line so that you can see that it's a cut crease and that I didn't just blend it out again. So here I'm taking my NYX Glitter Glue Primer shit and I'm going to apply that all where we just applied that concealer. I really like this stuff. Um, it really helps shimmer eyeshadows stay in place and that's what I really like because again I have greasy eyelids and I don't know why that's a fucking thing but it is so go ahead and apply that all over your eyelid that pretty shimmery shade in the modern renaissance palette and I didn't show the color but I also added the gold right underneath it to the outer quarters corners to add some dimension there you know, because you want your eyes to be popping when somebody's staring into you and confessing their love so you can tell them that you don't love them or what have you, whatever you're doing with your life. But that's usually what's happening to me. So, yeah, go ahead and blend it all out. Look at yourself. Make it I'm going to try this to film uh, while doing liquid eyeliner, so you're probably going to see me make a fuck ton of mistakes, just so you know. So yeah, here's me struggling to get that wing 
where I want it and it's super hard for me to do wings actually because I have a hooded eye so I have to like really pay attention to where I'm putting that wing so that it doesn't look like shit when I open my eyes. Oh my god, that looks like a struggle. It doesn't look too bad though. What in the fuck just happened? <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? I guess I'm just gonna be Amy Winehouse today, so. So here I'm taking my Tarte um, Lashed Mascara and I'm just going to apply a really thin coat of this before I go in with my eyelashes and put my actual hope lashes on, you know, because these ones just are not cutting it for me. And now I'm taking these two shades and mixing them together so that I can have that little under smoky eye effect there. It just looks phenomenal if you ask me. I'm just being a hoe and doing what I do. Don't fucking judge me. So here I'm taking my peach palette, or <laughs> fucking peach palette, my peach tart, whatever. It's exposed. It's a peach color. That's where I was getting with that. Putting that on my high, on my cheeks, whatever. I'm so over this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> then I'm going to be taking my highlighter by Purr, and I'm going to try and use a fan brush. And apply that to the high points of my cheeks. Didn't really work out for me, so I decided to use my finger. And a lighter shade than I first originally started with, because it's more poppin' and I'm trying to shine bright like a diamond on all you hoes. So yeah, just do that to the other side of your face, and then the tip of your nose, and your cupid's bow, and you should be litty titty set, ready to go. So yeah, I'm taking my Kat Von D lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow, and I fucked up right there, obviously. Overdraw your lips so that it looks like you're ready to suck dick or eat pussy. You just want to have fat ass lips. Can't stress that enough. It's scary having thin lips. I feel bad for you. So yeah, if you have thin lips, just overdraw the fuck out of them, and then you'll look poppin' and, you know? Do that so that you don't get lipstick on your teeth. Even though I'm gross, I'm going to use the all-nighter spray to make sure that I don't stay gross, you know, whatever. <laughs> 